and the first chapter and verse 29. When you get there, you say, Amen, please. St. John, the first chapter, Amen, and verse 29. I would like to hear you just say, Amen, when you get there to verse 29. You see it, Amen, amen before your eyes. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you. Amen. amen. St. John, the first chapter, starting at the 29th verse. It reads like this. It said, the next day, John said, who? Jesus. Mm -hmm. Coming unto him and said, Behold the Lamb of God mm -hmm. that do what? Which taketh away the sin of the world. Mm -hmm. If we have a pen or pencil or whatever, just circle S-I-E. Mm -hmm. Notice that John being prophetic here now, God is using him. He said he looked up after he was teaching and baptizing folks and letting folks know, amen, one that he talked about so much mm -hmm. and tried to let them know that there is one that coming after him is greater than he. Mm -hmm. John said, now I must decrease and he shall increase. But yet still, it said after he was baptizing the folks and amen, there was getting water baptism, it said the next day, here come who? The Son of God. Amen. Here come who? The Messiah. It said, amen, that John looked up and saw Jesus come. Mm -hmm. And look what he did. He began to look at the people and said, look here. He said, behold now, the one that you see approaching you that's coming down where the baptism where I'm baptizing you said this is one now that you need to look upon. Amen. This is the one now that you need amen to see. This is him of whom I have preached and told you amen to make his way straight. Amen. Make his path straight. Amen. Behold, this is what I'm going to talk about today. The Lamb of God that amen. takes away the sin of the world. Notice it did not say, amen, the sins of the world. It said it shall take away what? The S-I-N of the world. My God, if you ever get to the place, amen, to know, amen, what sin is, you don't have to worry about, beloved. Thank God, the S-I-N-S, amen, because why? You have got the originator from the very beginning. You have stopped your S-I-N. Y'all didn't get that. <laughs> you didn't get it. Amen. Ain't no way in the world you can keep committing S-I-N-S -S sin. Amen. If you don't get rid of the S-I-N. <laughs> sin. Who is the originator? Amen. Of sin. Now the Bible lets you know that God hates sin. Amen. The Bible says God tempt no man. He don't cause nobody to sin. But God hates sin. Yeah. Well, amen. Now we got the focus because here John being prophetic and said, now this man is the man that's going to deal with the sin of the world. Amen. It has to go back, amen, from the very beginning, amen, where that sin itself has developed. We know that God, amen, did not create sin. But the Bible declared, if you read and keep reading and study, amen, the, the word of God, it would teach you that God did create, amen, living beings which were angels, huh? amen, and Lucifer himself, amen, was the one that had the ability, amen, to know sin. Amen. In other words, the angels, amen, which that live, amen, with God. Which is Lucifer. Look what Lucifer did. Uh, he is the originator. Uh, yeah. Amen of sin. Yeah. Uh, some folks will say, well, how is it uh, that God being God uh, can allow Satan to do? Uh, amen what he has done. Uh, but yes, still beloved, if you just stay with me, uh, yeah. you can see and understand. Uh, beside all of that, uh, God was still God. Uh, the Bible let us know that Satan, which we call, amen, Lucifer, the morning star. Uh, he was one that in charge, amen, uh, with an 
angels in hell. Yeah. But the Bible said pride yeah. got in his heart. Yeah. Right? He began to want to exalt himself yeah. right? and be like the most high God. Yeah. Right? He started messing around with sin. Yeah. Right? No, it's not God don't tempt no man. Yeah. Right? The angels yeah. right? and Lucifer himself yeah. right? all living in heaven yeah. right? in peace with God. Right? They had no want for nothing. Yeah. Right? They were living forever. Yeah. Right? They were living an obedience. Yeah. Right? They were serving God without sin. Yeah. Right? But pride yeah. right? rolled up in Lucifer. Yeah. Right? My God, the morning star. Yeah. Right? Lucifer, the devil. Right? Yeah. Won't you be like the most high God? Yeah. Right? Yeah. The Lord, right? yeah. He knows all things. Right? Yeah. He sees all things. Right? Yeah. He already knows. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Already knew. Right? Yeah. What Satan was going to do. Yeah. Right? But look what happened to yeah. God being God. Yeah. Right? He's still going to show you yeah. right? that he is God. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Came up in the heart uh -huh. of the world. Yeah. Come on, He be like the most high God. Yeah. Yeah. But look what happened. Yeah. Yeah. He went around. Yeah. Trying to seduce, yeah. not trying to seduce, yeah. but he seduced yeah. the third part of him. Yeah. Yeah. Introduced him to sin, yeah. made him want to sin yeah. against the God Almighty. Yeah. Went along with his program, yeah. but look what God did. Yeah. Took a good look yeah. at what Lucifer yeah. had a purple in his heart. Yeah. Want to be like the most high God. But look what God done when he realized and saw what Lucifer had broken in his heart. The Bible declared that God took him and the third part of the heaven and kicked him out into out of darkness. Him in the third part. My God of the fallen angels which are spirits that took down did say to realize that he messed up. He realized he couldn't take God's kingdom over. It was too late to realize because he couldn't be like the most high God. He couldn't take over his authority. And look what happened. He won in darkness until God created man. Behold, our glory, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. That simply means that God is going to deal with Lucifer. God is going to deal with the devil. Now he messed up and called man and woman to sin. God still got something for him. God is still dealing with the devil. This penalty right now uh, is in our darkness, uh, trying to deceive folks. Uh, let us speak right now. Uh, but God, uh, we don't have uh, the final say so uh, about what Satan uh, and the angel that will deceive uh, where that they will go. Behold, uh, the Lamb of God, uh, which takes away. Uh, the sin of the world. Uh, yeah. The S-I-N, the sin of the world. Uh, not the S-I-N-S. Uh, because if you ever get to the place uh, yeah. and get sin itself uh, yeah. under control uh, by the blood of Jesus, uh, yeah. you don't have to worry about uh, committing S-I-N-S. Uh, yeah. Because uh -huh. you have dealt with uh, yeah. you been the source that it came from. Yeah. You have dealt with uh, the one that's trying to make you uh, amen sin uh, through the power of God uh, you bring everything under control uh, through God's power uh, now remember sin uh, God hates sin uh, I'm going to show it to you in the word uh, I hope you still love me uh, after I tell you what the word is uh, I'm preaching to myself uh, my soul says yes yeah. I'm preaching to myself 
See, he still had his free will. Huh? He still won. Huh? And try to understand the mind of God. Huh? Sometimes God will tell you, huh? my thoughts are not your thoughts. Huh? My ways are not your ways. Huh? Whatever God wants you to know, huh? he will let you know. Huh? But yet still Adam huh? had everything huh? he wanted. Now, build in the garden, amen, with the animals, everything, with that peace with one another. There was no sin around. My God, for no one had seen, but look what happened. It's so bad to have a free will. Look at us, beloved. If you examine yourself, and after he and the word of God, and the word of God then talked and preached to you, it does not mean you will still get saved. Why? Because you have, amen, a free will to believe this gospel or not. That's why a lot of folks this day still won't come to the law. Why? Because they have a choice if they're going to do right, if they're going to do wrong. But behold, the Lamb of God that deals with what the S.I.E. is. My Lord, my Lord. I'm trying to take my time. Yes. I, I hope you got your spiritual ear open. I, I hope you hear huh, what does say the Lord. Mm. Huh, folks need to go back preaching huh, what God wants to know. Huh, yeah. And that you preach, huh, my God about sin. Yeah. Huh, a lot of folks say they're up gone huh, and they're living for the Lord. Huh, yeah. But they lean back huh, and won't blow the trumpet. Huh, yeah. Won't warn the people. Yeah. Huh, won't tell the folks what the problem is. Huh, the problem huh, is the S-I-E. Huh, that thing that make you. Huh, yeah. Amen. Won't the sin. Huh, Sits out. Huh, and he took down. Huh, to the voice of Lucifer. Huh, to the voice of Satan. Yeah. Huh, it called all mankind. Huh, yeah. It called all womankind. Huh, the fall under the penalty. Yeah. Huh, amen of sin. Yeah. Huh, we all huh, have sinned, beloved. Huh, come short of the glory of God. Huh, but the Bible declared that the wages huh, of sin is death. Huh, yeah. But the gift of God yeah. Huh, yeah. is eternal life. Huh, through Jesus Christ, huh, amen, our Lord. Huh, yeah. If you have an enemy, huh, in a problem with yourself, huh, yeah. it ain't nothing but a yes. Huh, yes, I am. Huh, it's sin. Yeah. Huh, still trying to come back in. Yeah. Huh, you don't make up your mind yeah. to serve Jesus. Yeah. Huh, you don't hurt the report yeah. huh, and believe on the word of God. Huh, sin is sin. Now, it's still going to try now, to come back in. Now, but it's up to you, beloved, through the power of the Holy Ghost, now, through the power of the blood of Jesus, now, that you allow God, now, amen, to take you now, and live free, now, amen, from sin. Now, when you get born again, now, live according to the word of God. Now, when you show them meet Jesus, now, that you ought to not uh, be deal with uh, the S-I-E, not uh, be deal with the sin. Uh, that's what the manifestation uh, of salvation is. Uh, but I'm not ashamed uh, of the gospel of Christ. Uh, but it is the power of God uh, unto salvation. Uh, what power we're talking about. Uh, God can dealt with it. Uh, what messed up this world. Uh, he dealt with what's in your life. Uh, the yes I in. Uh, he come to let the devil know uh, that you don't belong to him. Uh, amen anymore. Uh, now you can say uh, sin uh, don't live. Uh, amen here no more. Uh, why they call I decided uh, to give my life to Jesus. Uh, anybody beloved uh, that is born of God uh, they strive uh, thank God not to sin. Uh, they strive God, uh, to live right uh, and hold it for God. Uh, it's not willfully done, uh, but you will strive and uh, my God to please God. Amen, amen. Yes, God.
this man now is not doing that just me. Uh, one that was called, even though he was called, uh, but he went beyond his call. Uh, and now, now, uh, this man is one uh, that has been chosen uh, to bring the nation of the Gentiles uh, and receive salvation uh, through his preaching. Uh, look what happened, beloved. Uh, even after that experience uh, that Saul had with the Lord, uh, the Bible goes over uh, in the book of Rome uh, and they preach about uh, a problem that Paul had. Uh, yeah. And that problem was uh, a sin problem. Uh, yeah. But the thing about it, uh, he did not want to do uh, what he did willfully. Uh, somebody said, well, Pastor, uh, how did you know that? Uh, because Paul said, uh, every time I wanted to do good. He said evil was right there with me. Look what Paul went further into this thing that was bothering him. Paul said now, the thing that I would do, I don't want to do it. Go back and read it for yourself. He was saying I didn't really want to do it. But it was something. Thank God down on the inside of me. That was still troubling me. Paul got to the place. Uh, he said, oh, uh, wretched man uh, that I am, uh, who shall uh, deliver me uh, from the body of this death? Uh, this thing was killing Saul. Uh, this thing was killing Paul. Uh, but he went further uh, because he was uh, a chosen master. Uh, he reached out and said, uh, I thank God uh, for our Lord uh, and our Savior. Uh, Jesus Christ, uh, Jesus you call in God, uh, and your aim is to make it to heaven, uh, in spite of what you're going through, uh, and a lot of things you don't understand, uh, but you still got heaven uh, in your fold, uh, uh, we call God, uh, that made a place for you, uh, you will keep on striving, uh, after you messed up, uh, you will still get yourself uh, back in line with God, uh, because God. I don't want you to willfully see. Mano, mano. I'm trying to take my time. Woo, I love this thing. Mm. I know y'all don't understand, pal, but I love it. It's all right. I don't right. Like understand myself sometimes. Mm. <laughs> Amen. I got to do what does say the Lord. Amen. 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 See, the S I N. That's what messed up the whole world. That's why the world is in chaos like it is now. Because of sin. Because of what Lucifer did from the beginning. Amen. He is the creator of sin. He called, and, and we have to, if you be honest with yourself, saying that's the fight that you have. Amen. Amen. Not the sin. I don't care how full the whole bush you is, how Satan you is, that devil is going to try you. Yes, it will. That sin, if you're going to sin. Yes, it will. And he don't care how you do. <coughs> get you upset, get you mad. Ain't no wrong getting upset, get mad. But don't let it lead to sin. You got to put yourself in check and shake yourself. Uh -huh. I'm saying, yeah, I'm, I'm upset. I'm cool. I get upset and get mad too. But I get mad enough to tell the devil that it ain't no work. Mm -hmm. You might as well come and tell me that ain't going work. I ain't giving up my salvation for that. Come on. That ain't going work. If you ask me to talk back to the devil, say, yes, I'm mad. Yes. I'm mad enough to tell you that sin don't live. You know? Yes, yes. You can't yes. come here with that. Yes. I ain't going to that. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. This is good. Amen. Amen. Sometimes if the apostle Paul mm -hmm. chose, a lot of you are chosen to do things. You mm -hmm. can't get away from it. My God. I don't care how much you try to get away from it. You were chosen to do it. Mm -hmm. See, you went beyond the call, but you've been chosen to do something. Mm -hmm. And when you don't want to fulfill the chosen thing that God has, you make your days short. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. God told you something. Somebody else can come along and do it. Mm -hmm. You want to live out your life like you should, like you ought to call you to please in God. Mm -hmm. Huh? And you will the hey. the Lord. You ain't you ain't trying to uh, kick against what you got to do that the Lord called you to do. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Elder, get 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 first John in front of me, please. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm, I'm gonna show you the word. God got your Bible, brought your Bible, want you to bring it with me. First John, the third chapter. I want you to read for yourself. A lot of times when you preach a message like this here and talk about sin, first thing the devil tells folks, you don't love me. You think you perfect? Ain't nobody say we're perfect. We strive. We strive for perfection. All of us can, can mess up tomorrow. We can mess up when we leave out here. Amen. 
But the thing about messing up, you got to quit and get right back in the fold. Right. Right. Ain't no need to sit there and call you mess up and, and, and worry, worry about it. Go ahead and repent and keep it on going. 